So the dating scene. It's hard when you don't have a disability <laughs> and it's even harder when you do have one. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is going to be dating with cerebral palsy. Now I know not all of you are going to relate to this, but I hope people with other physical disabilities can also relate to this to some capacity. Just a disclaimer, I am not speaking for everyone in this community. I have cerebral palsy very minor. If you wanna know more about it, you can check it out on my channel. I'll put the little end card. And my experiences may be different from other people's experiences. So I have briefly already talked about my past relationships on this channel before in my Valentine's Day video, also linked somewhere. But I never really touched on what it was like dating them with my disability. Now, I've never been treated badly by someone because of it or looked at in a negative light, but I've had some scenarios which are questionable and can come off very ignorant. I've only had one real relationship where the guy made it a point to kind of always point out my disability in random scenarios. And that's no hate to him. He honestly probably just didn't understand it and was just looking out for me. But I'll elaborate. I can only think of a couple times where he brought up my disability, but one of them was we were at a park and there was a hill that I wanted to climb and I said, I want to climb that hill. And he's like, are you sure you can do that? I'm like, what, what do you mean? And he's like, and I forget along what the lines he said, but something about my disability. And I'm like, I'm going to fucking climb that hill. I don't care. And I did. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. And for some reason that kind of irked me because in a way I knew he was just looking out for me. But I don't like being babied, and I don't like being treated as lesser, I guess you can say. Me being my 19 year old self, I was kind of offended, but I let it slide because people don't really understand. And looking back on it now, I probably should have said something. Then another scenario, which I believe happened in the same day, we were watching a movie. If I remember correctly, it was like one of those knockoff kind of Jurassic Park movies but it was in Jurassic Park. And uh, there's a scene where a dude gets his leg chopped off or like eaten. And they have to bandage it up really quickly and he can't walk and everything. And my boyfriend at the time was getting really into the movie. And there was one scene where the guy that had just gotten his leg cut off had to like crawl to get somewhere and my boyfriend exclaimed oh you have to help him he's a cripple and then he looked over at me and said sorry almost like the term cripple would offend me which it doesn't because i'm not crippled i'm disabled technically and and again it's another scenario of he probably didn't understand that it didn't bother me that he said the word crippled but just the fact that he had to assume he had to apologize for using that word, even though it wasn't directed at me, it would be one thing if it was directed towards me, but it was directed to a fictional character in a movie who had just gotten their leg chopped off. There was no need for him to apologize or for him to even remotely acknowledge me because he said that. It was just very odd and at first I was actually really confused. I'm like, why did you say sorry? And then I understood what he meant and I was like, oh. <laughs> huh. But I will have to admit, I've been in relationships where me being disabled didn't matter. Like my last boyfriend, for example, we're no longer together, but he was very nice about never bringing up my disability in any scenario unless I myself brought it up for whatever reason. So it was really, kind of a breath of fresh air when he never really acknowledged it. And he always pushed me to do things that I probably wouldn't have tried in the first place or would have necessarily been too shy to do. Like I tried go-karting with him for the first time. I absolutely hated it, but would I have done it if he wasn't there? Probably not. He convinced me to do it and I did it. And I was honestly really happy that I gave it a try, even though I absolutely hated it and I 
probably shouldn't have been driving it without a driver's license because those things legally go like 40 to 50 miles per hour, but I digress. But it all really just depends on the person you're with. And now that I am single, I try to make it a point whenever I'm getting into a relationship now or I'm first starting out in a relationship to make it a point to be like, hey, this is what I have. If you don't like it or you're not okay with it, bye. And if you're cool with it and if you're gonna treat me like the normal human being that I am, cool. Because there's going to be people that aren't going to understand what you're going through. There's gonna be people that are too lazy or too ignorant to do a small amount of research or to hear you out and know somewhat of what you're going through. Now I know this doesn't necessarily apply to everyone with physical disabilities, but still making sure that your partner is understanding of your condition regardless of how severe or minor it is. You should be treated like any normal person wants to be treated. And I mean, dating can be hard. And it's hard in this community as well, but it's not impossible. You will find someone, and hopefully it's someone that understands you and loves you no matter what. That was just kind of my little take on dating with disability. I hope it helped. I don't have much experience in the dating scene regardless, but I can still give you my experiences and hope that people can learn from them and that I learn from them. If you get one thing out of this, is to just treat people how they want to be treated. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to make more videos covering topics surrounded by cerebral palsy, leave them down in the comments. And if you want something different, let me know. I am always open to suggestions and I love hearing from you guys. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified every time I make a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Oh, lingers after